dedicated to Stan the Manly. I call it Make My Marble. Yes. Let's take a trip in my flying ship and travel through the cosmic rays and visit the man, the purple man, with his purple eyes and his purple rays, where we can enjoy our future days or perhaps the days of future past. And I'll be elastic and so fantastic. Or maybe I'll act all spastic like an insane fool and take a dip off the deep end of the Deadpool. <laughs> we need to assemble and learn how to hone our uncanny powers, whiling away the hours and the tearing and miss until we feel inhuman. We'll feel like zooming fast like quicksilver, or faster yet like a silver surfer. Or perhaps in my iron heart we'll, re we'll race if we go further into Shire space. I'm no hero, I'd rather not fight, but instead be a hider. Damn you for biting me, radioactive spider. It gave me visions and filled me with worry. Feel my fury as I throw my shield and beware the power of the hammer I wield. Taste my venom, it's a black widow stand. I will not be defeated by your devilish doom or fall prey to your thin fang boom. Dragon men I was born to slay. I'm a hero for hire, I do it for pay and battle your gargoyles, even if they are gray. I've been killed and cloned and lost in time, but not even Ragnarok can keep me from fighting your crimes. I can be America's captain and defend my nation or smash you all after my gamma mutation. And after that, I think I'll take a vacation to another world, another curse and defend an ultimate universe. It's not an apocalypse, but it is worse. So if beware the coming cosmic storm, or maybe the storm named Johnny, he holds a torch for you, you know. And the Aunt May say the play is the thing, well, I think Ben would disagree, and he always knows what time it is. No man is a Krakoa's island, and I am more like a castle. And I will punish all those who choose to hassle and hustle and dare to tussle with me and my amazing friends. There is no end to our secret wars because our wars aren't civil, neither are there are our invasions. We get stronger with each frustration, you can see it in my ruby eyes. Keep out of my negative zone even though it is not my home. There lies the truth of the sins, Logan and his unknown origins. Spin like a whirlwind from the storm that lashes out like a weather witch or a winter soldier with a mental glitch. Then switch it up with the stitches torn and the costumes worn by the heroes reborn. Upon an angel's wing will be lifted by a youngster who was born gifted. High above the earth's onslaught and a price paid with a soul to fist or bought. Now the riders loose that fiery ghost, known by hell as Zarathos. His vengeance burns the wicked souls. Extinguish those flames, man of ice, or ask some beast to build a device that can stop this unstoppable juggernaut. Don't let it be for naught, for it can't be bought. As the sorcerer's free to cast the hex, and as the mariner calls you an imperious rex. The frost giants are close, and they make me shiver, so with a hawk's eye I aim my quiver. And let it go till there is a blue river of blood upon the earth where I once stood and now stand no more. Beware, the phoenix is rising. The universe demands one is revising, and now the mutants are no more. The watchers cannot help, they are not allowed, and they have taken a solemn vow to observe and to ask, what if? What if? What if? What if we decide to be a hero no more and throw our costumes on the garbage floor, never again to hear the cry, Excelsior! But the cry for justice is loud and strong and calls us back to right the wrongs. So it may be just a fantasy to believe in Kate's mystery, but as long as we hold him as truths to be, there will always be morals in our history.